Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for your daily dose of Dirty Disney. Yeah. Mickey is, uh, he's a little jealous because Minnie is dripping with excitement. She can't wait. <laughs> she can't wait for you. Um, I would like to say this is a joke, but it was um, an actual Parks email that came out. It was real. It, I don't know if they didn't think things through. Oh, I think they thought it through. I think they thought it would be really, really funny. So we're going to talk about uh, Minnie getting all drippy. <laughs> uh, drippy with excitement what? over some mouse ears. Uh, over some mouse ears that look like they're they're covered in bodily fluids. Well, yeah. they look like something. They look like something. They're limited edition. Because, you know, you can only uh, do that so much. Um, it's just... So unfortunate the whole way around. And it's, I mean, they talk about fashion and being your, your drip, but that's not what they were thinking of. And every time my kids say that, I keep thinking, man, there's pills for that. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it, any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 275,000 subs. Woo! Sound like an auctioneer. Uh, speaking of auctions, Crimson Wren is being auctioned off on Indiegogo. No, it's not being auctioned. Uh, we have 11 days yet on Indiegogo. We're over $50,000. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, kind of wasn't sure how this one was going to go because it is uh, more of an all ages book, not a kid's book. Definitely mm -hmm. not a kid's book, but definitely something that you can read with your kids. Different. It is a little different, but that's okay. It's doing, uh, it's doing pretty well. We're doing pretty good. So uh, check it out. Beautiful art by Jose Garcia. Beautiful story by Geeky yes, Sparkles. Yes, we know. That's beautiful, right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, it's going to be a hardcover book. It's going to look great on your shelf. That's what we're going for. That's your selling for. point. It's good on your shelf. At least you're not saying it's going to make you drip with anticipation. Well, let's talk or, about sorry, that. excitement. Excitement. So <laughs> we get, here's, those, get those mixed up Here's sometimes. the thing. So the... Um, the mouse ears in question are are these platinum drip uh, limited edition <laughs> mouse ears that uh, the gamer says the ears are covered in white goo. It's actually metallic, but in certain lighting, it does look like somebody was really happy that they got to go to Disney World. Because... <laughs> Because it's the 100th anniversary celebration of Disney, and they're going with platinum for 100. So they're platinum-esque, platinum-coated, platinum, fake platinum ears. And yeah, I can see why in this lighting, it looks like something else. Yeah, well, the gamer, this is the, these are their words, not ours, by the way. This is the gamer. So they've got to be, they're, they're dissing Disney. They got to be all right. To put it bluntly, Disney is selling cum ears. <laughs> God. According to the filthy minds over on Twitter, anyway. Yes, the Mickey Mouse Disney 100 Platinum Celebration Ear Hat for Adults is described as dripping with excitement. That's one word for it. So here's what happened. Um, this was actually put out, uh, Wario64 put it out, like, hey, they're $200 mouse ears. You think that's what would shock people, right? Well, no, because I've seen the mouse ears be much more expensive. I think these are the ones that were available when they launched... The stuff that was available, they had 100th anniversary ears. By the time I get into the site, they were gone, so I never got to see what they look like. Right. So this person, uh, Pinky Tone, Pinky Tone looked into it. I looked into it, got this uh, email from Shop Disney, official Disney Parks email. Minnie is dripping with excitement as she celebrates the centenary of the Walt Disney Company and her typically fashionable style with this ear headband part of the disney 100 platinum celebration this limited release commemorative ear headband has been designed by disney artists for a special reflective platinum dipped effect and includes a coordinating padded bow all presented in a special keepsake box i'm certainly glad they're putting it in a box yeah, this is, I did try to get to, to see these, and I didn't even get to see them because they were gone so quickly by the time I got into Shop Disney to see them. But people were like, it's $195 for the ears and then $175 for the headband. I'm like, bitch, please. They had $1,000 ones that were bejeweled with plastic. They were literally plastic rhinestones, and I'm not kidding you. People surprised on Twitter. Minnie, yeah, what? why would you write it that way? Like dripping, dripping with excitement. Minnie needs, Minnie needs some penicillin. Why is she covered in goo? Why is she dripping just, with it goo? It's just such an unfortunate. She's so dripping. Choice of words. Ah, um, uh, it is, it is. So apparently, well, I like this. This is coming from the gamer. They said, oh, "What's better that some poor soul on the company's social media team must have actually seen these jokes and reported them to their boss because the text has since been changed to something less suggestive." 
Now the product description for the year simply reads, celebrate the centenary of the Walt Disney Company. Not not as uh, wet as it was so before. So was somebody like really just pissed off that day or somebody like wanting to get fired or they were already quitting and they were going to quit that day so they just put it through. I mean, because there's no way that they didn't know that they were putting that up like that. Minnie is all hot and bothers. Hot and bothers? Hot and bothered. Maybe they wanted to prove that they're, that they, maybe they wanted to prove that their superiors were not actually doing their job and reading all this stuff and checking it, which happened to you once. Yeah, so I've got lots of stories like that. You know, a lot of times editors don't really edit stuff. And I think this is why when you read a lot of these uh, articles that we make fun of, they sneak the really political hot takes in at the very end. I think they're just checking to see if their editor is actually reading. Well, this one, because one time there was a, a um, an arson trial that was going on. <laughs> that and was it had fun. it was a big arson trial. Yeah. And they had finally had a verdict for the arson trial. So Neon in his quest to be a smart ass because he knew his editor wasn't paying attention doing her job and he was doing her job and she was getting paid for it while he did the work. Yeah, she actually got to sit at home. Was... He stuck a picture of the, the high school bonfire right next to it. The, the headline about the arson story. trial put burn baby burn. <laughs> And it was and put it on the paper, and it was so legendary at the paper. People were cutting it out and sticking it in their cubicles because she got in trouble. They're like you're not even paying attention to the front page. Like if it was buried on page twelve, that's fine. But this was this was the front page, and I'm like, oh, here, let's try. There were he a couple. Got so tired of her. I got tired. She of got it. paid all the money, and you did all the. You literally did her job, and yeah. so you just did to be smart ass. And, and then it, went, it got printed that way. It got. Printed I, I that have way. to wonder if that's what's going on here. They're like, my supervisors aren't doing their job. They're not paying attention. Let's see what we can get away with. I'll prove it. Prove it. Minnie is dripping, dripping with uh, excitement. Dripping with excitement. Here we go. Here's some more reactions. Nasty, nasty. Not just Minnie. Not the McCussy. <laughs> I think I've heard Squid King refer to it as that before. So basically the ears are covered in platinum goo. How does that work? Painter like melted metal. Holy it's shit, I thought it was fake. Probably. It's 100% real. It utter, is real. Utter disbelief. Don't drag Clarabelle the cow into it. Oh. I just think it's funny that it got that got through that way. But the, but the good news is for Disney, hardly anybody got to see it because they were, when I went onto the website, you couldn't even see them anymore because they were already sold out. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, um, you know, there's a lot to be excited about, and uh, people just couldn't wait to get their hands all over it, mm -hmm. all over it. Uh, the bar, and that's actually a low price for what they are, considering how some, they've, what they've charged for other pieces for like the the Disney World's fiftieth. Two hundred bucks to drip all over the ears. Some people do it for free. Kind of wrap this up. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say. Yeah, and we were just talking about our all ages comic book. Mm -hmm. It legitimately is. We don't go there in the comic book. Yeah, dirty Disney. Look how far you've fallen. Oh my God, you're just trying to indoctrinate the children, aren't you? It's, I just think it's funny that, I mean, <laughs> I, I get what they're going for. I think they should have just made them solid platinum. I don't know why they yeah, did the drip. Mickey went for it. That's for I mean, I'm just like, it does not I'd look. I'd say he was pretty it successful doesn't too. doesn't look good that way. I don't does, understand why you're like, it's like, it's like, it's like the precursor to the hundredth anniversary. Cause they're just, it's just now, yes. it's just, it's just Great. slowly, it's just slowly getting coded. It's not completely coded yet, but it's coming. Whoa. Just, I mean. You can still get pregnant from precursor. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Like, okay, we don't, they're not completely platinum yet because it's not the hundredth anniversary yet, but it's coming. So it's yes, it is partially covered. It looks like it already came. <laughs> we're gonna um, we're gonna wrap this one up, right? Yeah. Wrap it up with a bow. Send, it's already there. Uh, send her send her packing with some money for. Well, the there's pack. a Mickey one too, so I mean, hey, they both are getting it. In the back of a minivan. All right. <laughs> Please subscribe for more quality content like this on Clownfish TV. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.